Um, obviously, you faced a lot of a lot of shots tonight, and um, you know how would you assess your own individual performance playing behind your team tonight? Uh, I thought it was good. I I was happy with the saves I made. I was not happy with uh, you know the second or third goal. I thought those were pretty weak, but um, I was just trying to enjoy being out there and you know wearing a heat jersey and, uh, you know, playing with pride for, you know, the name on the front and the name on the back. And um, I just still think there's a lot that can be, you know, learned in these last couple of games. And um, I think it shows like who you are as a player uh, and a person when, you know, things aren't going your way or the team's way, you know, you don't deviate from your plan or your process. You just stick with it. And, you know that what you do is is good for the team. Right. And, um, you know, take me through that play. I think it was in the second period when um, obviously there was a lot of contact in your crease. And, uh, you know, what was your what was your initial reaction when you what, what when I believe it was Nick Jones ran into you? I'm just tired of getting run over by guys. Um, you know, it happened in Ottawa a couple of weeks ago when I talked to you guys. I got ran over by the bait. And it was just a really similar play. I just feel like, you know, I've already kind of claimed my space in the crease and these guys are just skating full speed at me. And, uh, you know, it's not like my D are pushing them in. And it's not like, uh, you know, it's not like they're making a very quality effort to get out of the way. They're just, uh, they know that they can take it harder than that. And, and you know, they'll live to tell about it. And, I'm just kind of tired of it. I, I let the bait off the hook and, uh, you know, I just, I dealt with that, um, you know, just kind of internally uh, after it happened and then it happened again tonight. And I was just like, you know what, I'm, I'm tired of this. Like I, uh, I used to be a little bit more physical and uh, protect myself when I was younger. And then I've, I've kind of learned to, to cool it down and have a cooler head and, let your teammates handle it and let the game police itself. But um, tonight, I just didn't like that one. And uh, I let him know. Right. And uh, last one for me. Obviously, um, the, 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 the team season this year has been difficult. But from your own perspective, after coming into this year uh, on an AHL deal, um, are you pleased with what you have done thus far this season to potentially get back into maybe an NHL deal in the, in the upcoming year or two? Yeah, I've been happy with my games for the most part. Um, I've been happy with what I've been able to work on with our goalie department uh, over the course of the season. I feel like I've gotten better. I feel like I might even be playing as good as I ever have at any level. Um, and I am very confident that going into the summer and continuing, you know, my training and, uh, you know, on and off the ice as a goalie, uh, I just think that like any, any weaknesses, I feel like I still have in my game, like by the end of summer, I feel like I'll be able to rectify everything and, and uh, show up wherever next year ready to, to be the best I ever have. So I mean, obviously there's goals and games and stuff over the course of the season that you're not happy with and uh, you wish you could have back, but from an overall learning perspective and uh, just being, being able to say that you got through this uh, year, like emotionally and physically uh, within reason of health, I think those are two big accomplishments. All right. Thank you, Garrett. Paige, go ahead. Hi Garrett, um, in today's game, obviously you faced a lot of shots. Um, was that kind of the biggest thing that really kept you dialed in or was there something else that's kind of contributing to that? Uh, I don't know, I love, I love games where I see a lot of pucks. Uh, last game against Belleville where I only saw like 14 shots or whatever, that was no fun at all. So I'd rather have 50 shots than 15. Um, I just, it, I would say the quality of chances we gave up were a little bit too much. Um, but, you know, obviously we're not intending to do that. So um, I just, yeah, when you see a lot of shots, you get in the game early. I just knew that I had to 
play my best game and enjoy it and have fun if we wanted to have a, a chance of winning tonight. And, you know, any time that I've deviated kind of from that plan this year, it hasn't been as enjoyable. So with three games left, I'm, I'm strictly here to enjoy it and play as hard as I can. For sure. And in a game like this where your team isn't able to kind of back you up offensively, do you feel them backing you up in other ways? Uh, yeah. They always have my back and, you know, their, their bench wasn't too happy with the way that I responded to getting hit. You know, my, my teammates are the first ones to be like, don't, don't focus about, don't focus on that. Don't worry about them. We've got you. Like, um, so it, it's not like I'm being left out there alone. Um, we just, we're running into teams that, that have a, a very clear game plan and they're sticking to it and it's working for them. And we got to find our way, uh, to, to play our own game. I just don't know if we, we've played what we consider to be our game in a long time. Right. Um, and then you pretty much played the majority of games this year, but when other guys get in there, are you still able to learn from their performances as well? Yeah, I mean, I like to think that, you know, the job that you're really competing for at this point in the organization is uh, one that's a support role. I mean, Jacob Marstrom is your starter for the next five years, and um, he's been great at doing what he's doing. Um, and I think that, you know, even great goalies can be made better by having good support behind them. Um, you know, somebody who can push in the right directions, but also, you know, be that calming voice of reason and, and be somebody who's motivational and inspirational uh, to all of their teammates on the bench. And, uh, you know, I was more excited for Pars to play uh, last game than I was for myself to play tonight. Like, I, I, I've played a lot, and I will play a lot. And, you know, my future in hockey is not something that I'm overly concerned about at this point. Um, I know that I've done enough for myself through my career to, to be good and, and prove that I can, you know, contribute to, to any team. But I think that the biggest uh, difference is, is being able to genuinely cheer for your uh, bully partner. Make sure that you're attempting to get the best out of them, too, uh, for the better of the team connections unstable <laughs> we we got the end of that one. most of that one Garrett yeah. so that was uh <laughs> wait I think we uh we caught the gist of it anything more for him uh just one more question for me um with you being a veteran player uh what do you think are some of the things that this team needs and needs to improve on for the last three games we need to keep our composure and we need to realize that there's uh like much more at stake here than guys choose to believe. We need to understand that these three games, no matter how talented of a player you've been throughout your entire career, um, these could be defining moments for people going forward. These could be the last, uh, you know, impressions that you're able to leave on, on the staff around you. And uh, I think it's just important. It's important that um, we just play, we play to the best of our own personal abilities as a team. And I think we'll have more success and more joy by fixating less on the result and, and focusing more on our process these last three games. And uh, I, I'd like to see us do that.